stop what you're doing and make sure that you do this new method for the unlimited essence glitch. This is super easy to do and you can get max essence in a matter of three games. What's going on guys? Wesley here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the updated method for the unlimited essence glitch. Now in this video, I'm not only going to outline a new method in order for you to gain the essence in order to duplicate, I'm also going to show you the most efficient way that you can actually duplicate, allowing you to save time buying Tombstone and how you do this actual glitch. Now if we can, I'd appreciate if you guys would like the video. Let's see if we can get this video up to 100 likes. I took so long to record this content because I wanted to make sure I had every single video angle and I could explain every single thing to you guys. So let's get into this glitch now. Now jumping right into things, I want to make sure that you guys are prepared and that no one makes any mistakes because I've noticed a lot of people have trouble with either the tombstone duplication glitch or the unlimited essence glitch. Now I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to do step by step real quick. It will not take that long, but I guarantee you that this method and the way that I do things is faster than the way that you're doing it right now. So let's get into it. Now as for the requirements to this glitch, I'm going to list them out here now and some of these aren't absolutely required, but I'm listing them all as requirements because this video is on the fastest method for unlimited essence. Now once you've gathered all of those items on at least one player, you can do this just for one player and someone else can go around the map just doing whatever they want or just hang out and sit around like my alt account. You're going to want to make your way over to tier three. Now, I suggest that you have at least a pack a punch level one scorcher. That way you can do the Superman glitch. Some people call it a feature. The point is, is that you can fast travel around the map very, very quickly. And what you're going to notice is I actually grab a spore contract and cancel it. So this is going to be my first tip of the day other than the scorcher. So first of all, if you don't see a bounty contract, all you need to do is go grab a separate contract, any kind and cancel it. And it's going to regenerate a contract in the tier three zone. There should always be at least one contract so it's easy to find a bounty. Now the second tip to this glitch and also one of the requirements is the flamethrower. Now this attachment is called the Jack Purifier. If you wanna know how to unlock it, go check out my video on that. It will be in the description down below. Long story short, it is an armory unlock and you need to make sure that you have it. Now if you triple pack a punch a weapon that has it on, then you can kill these bounties in a matter of seconds. You saw how quickly I actually deleted a mega abomination and you'll see here that was me actually canceling a contract and the bounty showed back up. So let's see how fast I actually can get a kills here. So I've gone ahead and grabbed it and then in about like 10 seconds I'm over to my actual target. Now I got lucky during this game and I was able to get a lot of lesser enemies such as mimics or disciples. So it's very very easy to do these contracts and they pop off very quickly. Now if you have again that triple pack a punch flamethrower it is an absolute insta kill in tier 3. It is so easy to use. Now in between each one of these contracts you need to make sure that you are going to an ammo cache. Why? Because the flamethrower can only be refilled using an ammo cache, not even ammo on the ground. Now that may seem like a huge inconvenience. It is absolutely not. It will take you about 20 seconds to actually refill your ammo in between these contracts. So you should just be firing off and going left and right over and over again, making sure that you are knocking out these contracts, canceling existing ones if you don't see a bounty contract and then grabbing the bounty contracts. It took me about 30 minutes to get about 150,000 essence. That is in no time. That is super easy. It's easily the fastest way because keep in mind, each time that I'm doing this, let's just presume it's the minimum every time. I'm getting 10,000 essence. So that means I only need to do 15 contracts. And while that sounds like a lot, it is actually extremely easy. So once you get that 150,000, go ahead and make your way over to your friend. Now, in this case, again, I have an alt account, so it is super easy. I just had him hide in this crane. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share all the essence that he has with my main account. Now, the purpose of this is because obviously on my main account, I am prepared. But one thing that I do wanna point out is I have a large rucksack in my rucksack, as well as a tombstone soda can. Now, the large rucksack is kind of worthless. I'm gonna explain why in a second, because a lot of people will think using this method, it's actually useful. I highly suggest that you just forego it all together, especially if you have all of your crafting schematics, right? Like if you have your gold schematics and things of that nature, I highly suggest that you don't even waste your time with it. However, with the tombstone soda, I highly suggest that you do bring it. So what you're gonna do is make sure that you have tombstone that you purchase from the machine on your main character, or let's say player one, they go down and they plead for help. Now make sure that you have the tombstone soda can in your rucksack at this point. 
Otherwise, you just need to make sure that you have all of the essence from your entire team consolidated. In this case, again, it's about 160,000 for me. And the reason for that is because what we're gonna be doing right now is I'm actually duplicating the items right now. If you don't know what the unlimited essence glitch is, this is the portion of the glitch where it actually glitches out. This is absolutely not a feature. I'll always have those straight people say that this is a feature. You're telling me it's a feature that I can double 150,000 essence? Like that is not, that's not a feature. But anyway, so what you wanna do is make sure that you've pled for help. So you give up, plead for help, and then have your friend pick you up. Now what, at this point, you can dump everything that you have. Nothing that you have on your player once you've gone down and pleaded for help matters. You could play out the game if you want. You're going to have to end the game in a certain way, but go ahead and share the tombstone soda, get your friend to drink it, and they're going to go down and repeat the same exact steps that you just did, right? So now they, they have 160,000 essence. They go down, plead for help after they've drank this tombstone soda can, all right? So they don't actually have to go to a machine. They could go sit in a corner the whole game while you're gaining this essence, but they need to go down and then plead for help. Now, at this point, once you've both pled for help, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go down and you're going to fully die. Now, you're going to lose your insured weapon. So I highly suggest in this first game that we're still in right now, you make sure that you get all of the essence that you need. Now, in my opinion, that number is 150,000. So if you have 150,000 essence like I have, then you are good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go down. Now, you don't need your essence or your items or whatever. I could have dropped everything and gone down at this point. You're going to give up and just wait for the plea for help timer to run out. So again, you went down, pled for help, got picked back up while having tombstone, and then you just simply die to leave the game. So once we've actually left the game, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that area. Now, this is just an example. I just want to show, yes, you lose everything that you have as well as your insured weapon. So just know that for this very first game. At this point, you don't need to bring anything into the game. In fact, I would highly suggest that you don't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of my stuff. I went ahead and applied the large rucksack but you'll notice that now it's gone from my rucksack. So that's why it's worthless, right? Because any subsequent games, you're gonna either have to go to a buy station in tier three and buy a large rucksack so that you can either put it in your rucksack or just simply apply it so that you can hold a large rucksack full of items, or you're gonna have to do something alternative. So I would highly suggest that you don't do that. Just take a small rucksack worth of items into the game if you wanna duplicate items as well. This is more about the essence and we all know that that is more important anyway because ultimately you can craft items you can't craft essence so here i am repeating the steps you can go back for the more detailed explanation if you want it but as you can see i have tombstone soda i went down and pled for help and gave my friend all of the essence now i'm going to give him the tombstone soda he's going to repeat the steps you could see that he pled for help. Again, I highly suggest that you leave before you even go down for the first time in each game because what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to know when they've actually fully pled for help because if you pick them up before they plead for help, then you will actually lose that tombstone. So each time that you repeat this process, you're actually going to be doubling your essence. You can see at the bottom left of the screen, you will go down and I have 300,000 and then I'm gonna pass it over to my friend and he's gonna go down. Now you may have noticed I did this twice. That was because, again, like I said before, I messed up all my pleading. So it actually took me four games. If you don't mess up, it takes you three games. So just know that whenever you go down, you go down and plead for help, then you get picked up and then you go down and die. So go back and make sure you follow those steps. Well, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you 900,999 essence in a matter of three games because what you're gonna be doing is you're going to gain 160,000 or 150,000 in essence. You're gonna double that to 300 in the first game because obviously you're both going to die with 150. Then the next game you're gonna double 300K each and then the next game you're gonna double 600K each and you're gonna have some essence that you're gonna to have to leave on the ground. So if you guys appreciate this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more, leave any questions below and I will catch you guys in the next video.